So, if you know the tale Bobok by Dostoevsky, which in short is about the dead people quarreling at the cemetery, about trifle things of the living, about the uh, neighborhood who had a greater house when they were alive, who had uh, more beauty or more money when they were alive. Well, ignorance of the living and the unknowledge of the living, given that the soul is the recipient of their beliefs, their emotions, the worldviews, the vistas in life, is transposed and translated to the world of the dead. What does it mean? That people that pull themselves up, people that are knowledgeable in the occult sense, people that are more have more acumen in the magical and the occult business and want to reach the gods, have the same like problem not only dealing with the ignorance and stupidity of the living, but also the ignorance and delusion of the dead. So, of course, not all dead are like that. Not all shadows of the death are like that. There are more the ones who want to liberate themselves from their condition. But if they were fanatical, zealous believers and religious scoundrels, they take it on the other side. And if they sense that the occult or the magical theurgy or that you want to break the paradigm of one governing religion of the territory, they want to attack you, they want to smear you, they want to make your life difficult. So, for those of you who aspire to any sort of intelligence or knowledge of occult sciences of the divine and philosophia naturalis, you must prepare yourselves for the ignorance and delusion of the other side. Now the Buddhists and Hindus solved it, that ignorance and delusion is also the root of evil and knowledge, that attachment is, anger is, wrath is, aversion, jealousy, and it mutates through various civilized forms into peculiarities of the human existence. And just because someone dies doesn't make him any better, unfortunately. So the dead may be quite vicious, quite vicious to the living that are simply more superior to those of the living and some of those of the dead. So that's a short note on uh, dealing and isolating yourself from imbeciles on earth, finding your friends with similar intelligence let's say, frequencies of understanding, egregores, thought forms, mind forms, and beware of fools. Beware of fools at every step. Because if the living idiots want to find you, the dead idiots will. And you must protect yourself, apotropically, to invoke godhood within, to ask gods and higher spirits to shield you from those idiots. Otherwise, you're at a loss. And you'll be harassed, you'll be chased, there are so many tricks of the trade that they may use against you just to block your path to ascent, just to block your path from inner realization, from the inner truth, so that you may join the gods. Why? Because they're jealous. They're jealous that the religion didn't give them anything, the Catholic or Christian belief systems. They're jealous of all that. And they're hateful because the religion promised them something for nothing and they didn't receive it. So mark my words, do your business, protect yourself against living idiots and protect yourself against the ignorance of the dead. Thank you.